everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you a really delicious cranberry sauce recipe for your holiday feast. This is Napa Valley Blackberry Ginger Balsamic Cranberry Sauce. If that doesn't sound amazing, I don't know what does to you. I love berries and blackberries are amazing. I got some beautiful, big, juicy, beautiful uh, blackberries. I'm using some fresh ones here and this is about a, just over a cup's worth, I would say, maybe a half of a pint container. Um, I have one package of cranberry so cranberries. You can use fresh or frozen, and these guys, um, you need about three cups worth of them, okay? So I've just uh, taken them and I've rinsed them with cold water, picked through to make sure there's no berries that don't look very nice, and make sure there's no stems still stuck to the berries, because sometimes that happens. All right. I'm also going to use some fresh ginger root, so if you don't have that, you can always use some of the ground ginger, but I don't think it'll be quite as good uh, or give you the, the texture that I'm looking for. So this is how we're going to start. I have a medium-sized saucepan on my stove top, and I'm going to heat some liquid and the sugar. You need to dissolve the sugar completely. So that's going to go for about five minutes before I even add any of the cranberries. Now before I start, I want to mix my balsamic vinegar in with the liquid because it's liquid. So I have this gorgeous Napa Valley blackberry ginger balsamic vinegar. Check out my review on this. This is amazing stuff. Now it's high quality uh, balsamic vinegar from Modena, from Italy, and it is thick and syrupy and unbelievably infused with blackberry and ginger. Uh, it is amazing. It's not just for balsamic vinaigrettes. It's not just for drizzling on top of things. You can bake with this. You can cook with this. It's fantastic. It smells so good. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my container first. I need altogether one cup. I just don't want the sticky balsamic to stick to the bottom. So let me add a little bit of that first. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of this thick, thick syrup. Oh, this is gonna be an exciting recipe. Don't waste any of that. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, such rich flavor. Oh, it's so good. Okay. So pour in more water and make one cup's worth in your measuring cup. So let's bring this balsamic and water mixture up to a boil with one cup's worth of sugar. And we're going to stir that to combine it. Now that should be enough sugar in it, but we're going to do a taste test at the end to make sure anyway. Not only are our blackberries that we're putting in sweet, but the sugar, one cup of sugar is going in, as well as this beautiful sweet balsamic. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare about a tablespoon's worth of freshly grated ginger. So I'm just gonna use my fine grater. Skin and all, I don't care. You can peel it if you want to. This is really gonna give some spice and zip and a really festive flavor. That's going in the pot now. Let's infuse that liquid with the ginger flavor. So once that comes up to a boil, we're gonna turn it down to a simmer and let it go for about five minutes to fully dissolve all those sugars. All right, we're gonna add our cranberries. It's been five minutes. In they go. Make sure they get coated with the blackberry, ginger, balsamic, and water mixture, the sugar. And I'm actually going to hold off adding the blackberries until this comes back up to a boil. The cranberry skins will start to pop and that's what you're looking for. That's also going to help thicken your sauce. It's going to help congeal it because the cranberry skins have pectin in them. So um, the berries are a lot more tender. The blackberries are more tender than the cranberries. So the cranberries will take slightly longer time. The blackberries won't take nearly as much. So let's bring this back up to a boil. As soon as I hear some cranberry skins popping, I'll add the blackberries and we'll finish it up. After they, uh, you have enough popped that you feel like, we like the whole berry cranberry sauce. That's what we traditionally make in our house. Um, so that's what I'm making. But if you want to make the jelly kind, you could do that too. That's a whole nother recipe. 
Uh, but today we're gonna have chunks of berries in there. I'm also going to mash a couple against the sides at the end, just to make sure we have enough pectin in there to thicken things. As well as, you know, I like the seeds from inside the cranberries. I don't want all the berries to kind of be whole. I like them to be a mixture of uh, different states. Okay, so let's bring this up. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay, we're right back up to a boil. I'm turning it down to a simmer. Some of the cranberries have already started to pop and it's time to put the blackberries in. Stir those through. And I'm gonna let these go for just a couple more minutes. All right, I think we are right on point here. Lots of the cranberries have broken. I'm just gonna smash a few more just because I like the seeds and I wanna make sure that it's going to thicken. Some of those blackberries have stayed whole and some of them have broken into pieces and that's exactly what I wanted too. If you wanted to break them up more, go ahead and smash them. Whatever you wanna do, this is your world, okay? Beautiful. This is going to taste delicious. I can hardly wait to try this, okay? Now we have to do a taste test quickly uh, for sweetness. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. That's a decadent cranberry sauce. It's deep, dark, and delicious, okay? It's sweet. It's got these gorgeous berries in here and chunks of them. That balsamic has a rich sweetness that really enhances this. The blackberries, what a nice addition, not only for the flavor, but for the seeds. I love that. And it's exciting, more exciting. You know, this would be perfect not only with your, your holiday turkey or your duck or whatever bird you're doing, but it'd be great with ham. It would be great with, with any other thing like that. You could you'd even serve it not on the holiday time and serve that with like a pork loin roast or something of that nature. Really, really outstanding stuff. Now, here's what you can do. You can store it in a serving bowl in your refrigerator if you're getting ready to serve it up this evening. Um, or you can store it in a mason jar and that's what I'm going to do because we're not eating it right away. This will keep well in your refrigerator. You can actually do this days before you're um, entertaining uh, guests and you can save yourself some time and some effort. I don't know if you can see that, but look at the blackberry in there and the cranberries. Oh, amazing. Okay. So as this cools, this sauce is going to thicken, so don't fret. Well, I just took it to mom for the taste test and it's mother approved. She really enjoys it. That deep, dark, delicious blackberry balsamic flavor. You can also taste the little chunks of ginger in there. What a lovely cranberry sauce. A nice spin on something traditional. And you can surprise everyone. It'll be a conversation piece at the table as well. So if you've never thought of using another kind of berry with your cranberries, it's a great idea. Not only that, if you've never thought of using balsamic vinegar before when you're making things like this, then hey, now I just you just learned something. But what's uh, important to know is that not all balsamics are created alike. These particular balsamics from Wine Country Kitchens are outstanding. They are thick, they are syrupy, they are sweet, they are full of flavor. Now make sure you check them out online at winecountrykitchens.com for this vinegar and their whole line of balsamics and other fruit vinegars, as well as barbecue sauces and mustards and spice rubs and everything gourmet that you could be looking so for. So that's what we've got going on here. Look at all those gorgeous berries in there. Oh, what an awesome side dish or uh, accompaniment. Now this recipe made about two and a half cups of uh, cranberry sauce and this will get served up in a pretty bowl when we're ready to eat. If you're uh, putting this in the jar uh, while it's really hot like it is right now, it'll probably do a temporary seal which will keep things nice and fresh as well. So that's it guys, that's how you make a Napa Valley blackberry ginger balsamic cranberry sauce. Impress your taste buds and everyone else's and have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Again, check out winecountrykitchens.com for all kinds of gourmet needs that you can fill and great stocking stuffers or hostess gifts during the holiday season, okay? 
Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And you can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly. I'm also syndicated on Apple TV. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.